Just bear with me a second, please. I'm trying to get Facebook to cooperate with me today. This is my fifth time trying to get this video to go. Hello, 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 everyone. And welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shelly Anderson, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short lunch break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. I also do Facebook Lives Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today we are going to be having a play with the Dainty Delight bundle. And we are going to also be using the double oval punch along with, I've pulled these out of the archives, the layering ovals dies. These are a fabulous set of dies from days gone by. And because I was using the oval for the greeting, I wanted to stick with the ovals. So I've pulled those out. Now this card will work with circles, squares, whatever shape, rectangles, whatever shape you want. So you're not committed to using ovals if you don't have them. I've pulled out some fresh freesia ribbon. And I have a dark fresh, dark fresh freesia and a light granny apple stamp and blend marker. All right, we are going to get started. We have all our little bits here. We'll start with the inside of our card today. And this is just a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white and a leftover strip of the Dainty Designs DSP. I decided that I was going to use it as toss it and I also have a little leftover strip of basic black cardstock so I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to use it to decorate the inside of my card and we will just press that in place and then we're just going to trim off the excess, just like so. Oops. There we go. Now we're going to open up our card and put on our Tombow. Might be helpful if we put it in correctly. Then we will just press that in place. Now the inside of our card is pretty. Now we'll set that aside and we're going to work on the outside of our card. I have a piece of basic black for a matte layer and I've cut my oval out of the center just so that I didn't waste cardstock. And I have a piece of the Dainty Designs DSP that's going to go over top of that, like so. And you see how that black matte layer makes that pop? All right. Oh, I got glue all over everything. Heavens to Murgatroyd. I forgot about the hole in that <laughs> card <laughs> and now I have adhesive everywhere. All right, we'll take care of that. Now we best get this down on this card front before I have a really bad mess on my hands. There we go. And we're just going to pop that into place on the front of our card. And you can see by adding that black layer, matte layer, that creates a beautiful pop. If I just put the DSP on there, it would just kind of be lost, right? 
So there we go. We have that done. We'll set that aside as well. We're going to work on our focal image. And I am going to use this image here. And I'm going to bring in my stamp apparatus for this because I want to make sure that I have a nice dark image to color. So we will place our stamp. Actually, that's sticking to my finger. I just put the labels on this stamp today. And then I'll have to put that there. All right, so we're going to need some Memento Black ink because we always use Memento Black when we are um, coloring with our stamp and blend alcohol markers. Give that a good press and we'll re-ink it. And we'll give it another press. All right. Just the flower portion is all I need re-inked the third time. There we go. Beautiful. We'll get rid of the stamp. Pop it back in the case so we have everything accounted for. All right, now we get to color our image and I'm just going to leave it right there. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to use the granny apple green to color the leaves. and to highlight the stems. And because this image is so tiny, I am not doing any um, two-tone coloring any blending whatsoever. I'm just going to color in the images. And I think that's about it. There we go. And that was light granny apple green. Now I'm going to use dark fresh freesia on all these little flowers and buds. Now there are two flowers here that have actual centers. I think I might pull in so saffron or daffodil and make the centers there we go let's see light daffodil that's the first one i came to there we go all right we can get this out of the way. I suppose I should wipe that off before it stains. And we are done with our Stamparatus. Now we're just simply going to layer this together. And then I think I'm going to put it on the card front with um, dimensionals. And through the magic of Facebook, I have pre-stamped 
my greeting from this set in the mental black ink and I am doing the same I'm going to layer those together now you'll notice that bring this up closer to the camera the scallops are different on these but I wasn't too worried about that to be honest now I'm going to bring in my bow maker tool and we are going to make a wee little bow and I mean little I just want a little tiny guy there we go see how little that is all right we'll get some ribbon scissors in here And we're done with that. All right, now we have all our bits. We need some dimensionals. I will put four of these on this one. And two on this one. Now, before I take those backings off, I'm just going to lay this out to make sure... I kind of like it centered. All right, I'm going to take the backings off this one. And I'm going to pop that into place. There we go. And then we're going to do the same with this one. And pop that into place. And you see by doing this one first, I'm able to see the exact spacing from here to here and here to here. So that was beneficial. Now we need a glue dot tangled up in my wires here. I'm going to roll this over just a little bit and pick up the glue dot and I want to put that right on those stems like so and I'm just going to get my paper piercer and pick up another one so I can tame my tails. Make sure they're going to lay where I want them to lay. Don't like them all helter-skelter. There we go. Now we can just trim these down. Like so. Now, the only thing we have left to do is to embellish. So let's see what we can find for embellishments. Now we could use matte black dots, but I don't think they're very soft and feminine. Um, those iridescent rhinestones, I think those are going to be the answer. They have a pinkish hue to them. And it re when you put them on a pink or a purple, it really, really takes on the color of the card. Watch this. See how that looks purple? There we go. Those beautiful iridescent rhinestones. And our card is done. How cool is that? Now, there is the outside. There's the inside. If you so desired, you could stamp on the inside as well. I'm going to leave mine plain so I have lots of room to write a greeting. 
and that is the Daisy Delight bundle from the January to April mini. Now I have another card here to show you that I did for a challenge earlier today. So you can watch, you can go back to the blog post today for this one. This features this same bundle. This was a color challenge. I had to use melon, um, Pacific Point, Coastal Cabana, and Pool Party. So that is what I came up with. I used the brick wall embossing folder and I inked it in three different colors. And then I just used the dies for this card and die cut all the flowers. Okay. So there are two cards using the Dainty Delight bundle for some inspiration for you guys. So if you don't have this and you would like to add it to your stash of products, get in contact, if you, and if you live in Canada and don't have a demonstrator, get in contact with me. I have orders that go in every week. Um, I would be pleased to help you out with that. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me anytime. Andersonshell at gmail.com. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you have a crafty day. Bye-bye.